All right, everyone. Uh, so this is, again, Ryan Mitch with thetilelife.com. Uh, this is going to be kind of a multi-part video series on Trello. Um, if you haven't seen the first video, I'd suggest that you go back. Um, I talk about why I chose Trello and some of the alternatives uh, such as Asana, Basecamp, or Slack, uh, and why they really didn't work for me, and how Trello kind of meet, like just hit that sweet spot for me of very flexible, but not bloated with features that brought a, a large learning curve. So now we're gonna get into kind of the basics of Trello here. Uh, Trello functions off of three main things. You have boards, you have lists, and you have cards, okay? Now boards are the largest kind of grouping of things. And uh, basically, on a board, you will put lists and cards. Uh, boards are uh, typically for um, one section of your life or a large project or something like that, uh, or like your to-do list or something like that. So for boards, I typically, in my personal uh, boards, I will have a um, kind of a work board and then I will have a uh, kind of personal life board and then maybe one other board as like a catch-all other category. Um, so what I will do is make a board and we're just going to call this work. All right. And so this is a board. This whole blue area here is a board and you can see your menu here. I usually close this. Um, so that's, you can get it back by hitting that, right? So, uh, a, like I said, a board is made up of lists and cards. And it's all nesting. So a, a board is the largest uh, kind of container. And then within a board, you have a bunch of lists. And then in a list, you have cards, okay? And that may seem daunting at first, but it's, it gets very natural really quickly. So uh, this whole blue area is our board, and on it we're gonna place lists and cards. Um, so first thing is we're gonna make a list. Uh, so we're just gonna call this one to do. Uh, the next one is working on, and then uh, completed, and then we're gonna call holding area. Oops, there we go. Now. Okay, so you just saw I made four lists, and what's nice about these is you can move them around however you like, okay? And you can change the names midstream. What I really like about this is that it's very flexible, but it's easily changeable so that when something, you're, you're going down the road and you realize something's just not working, you can change it without, like, a bunch of headache. It's been, it's really great. Uh, so um, these kind of uh, four categories of what I found for myself to be very useful. And we'll kind of go through them here. So to do, uh, typically what I do for work is on a Sunday night, I spend 15 minutes. And I say, hey, by Friday afternoon, if I were to complete these things, um, I would say that that was a week of, you know, that was a very productive week. I'd be happy with the work I did. I um, wouldn't feel let down that I missed something, anything like that. Like, it was a good week. And I say, okay, what are the things that I need to do this week to get that feeling by Friday, okay? And I, I find that to be a really useful thing in kind of framing how I think about my work week. Uh, so... Um, on Sunday, I'll literally add my to-do cards. So I need to call Joe. Uh, I need to uh, submit my TPS report. I don't actually do those, but you get the idea. Oh, and I submit. There we go. Uh, I need to uh, meet with Jan. I need to, um, you know, design email template and I uh, I need well, let's see uh, write and submit submit uh, my article uh, 
to the newsletter. Okay. So let's just say that all that I wanted uh, to get done this week. Now, um, like you said, this whole thing's a board. This gray thing here is my is a list. It's a it's called to do, and these things I just created are cards. Okay, so you just add a new card right here, and then you hit add, just like that. So you can see board, list, and these are cards, and that's the structure of Trello. Um, fundamentally, if you understand that, then you can understand Trello. Um, literally, that is 90% of what you're going to do. In later videos, I'm going to get into some like cool tips and tricks, but honestly, like that's it. Um, you know, you understand Trello now, uh, which I, I think is great because like with the sauna and uh, base camp, you know, the, it's a little bit more complicated than that. And, um, you know, Trello has more functionality, but like at its base, it's simple. I don't know where I'm going, but